What is up, everybody? It is your boy. You know what time it is. Happy Saturday to everybody. Well, first of all, it's been a hell of a day. Uh, you guys know me. Well, most of you know me. Unless you're new here. I don't do clickbait. I don't do fake news. I don't do hot takes. Check my record. Just don't do it. Never have. And that's not what this is either. This is just some information that's been brought to my attention that reaffirms some of my prior uh, suspicions and things that I've mentioned over and over again right here on my own channel. So some of you might remember a couple of weeks ago, I did one of my you know walking and talking videos it was when the ACC had their meetings and they were going over things, you know, eliminating divisions, playoffs, all that kind of stuff. And I said on there, I said, put your 10 4 hat on now. I said, but getting rid of the divisions sounds to me a lot like an inlet for Notre Dame to join the ACC. Well, I do have some kind of information uh, not to sound like Golden Blue Dude, okay? <laughs> I do have some kind of information from certain people that are more in the know than I am about Notre Dame and the situation, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now. More likely than not, it is in the works for Notre Dame to join the ACC full-time in every sport. At the current time, they're in the ACC, kinda, in football, still independent by label. But several other sports are in the ACC. They're in the ACC in basketball. They're in the ACC in, uh, I don't even know, ba uh, basketball, baseball, I think. For some reason, I think they're in the Big Ten and hockey. I don't know. I can't keep up with Notre Dame's, you know, different affiliations with different conferences. The majority of Notre Dame's affiliation is with the ACC, and there's a lot of debate. There has been a lot of debate for a long time now. Is if Notre Dame was to join a football conference full time, which conference would it be with? A lot of people say, oh, Big Ten, Big Ten, it makes the most sense. I'm not disagreeing with that. Uh, some said Big 12. I've heard everything. I've heard Big 12. I've heard Big 10. I've even heard Pac-12. The bottom line is, it's going to be the ACC. And it's going to happen sooner than you think. Not this year, not next year. My guess is going to be probably around 2025. That is when... Well, I, well, I know that's when they're talking about probably most likely doing the... Uh, the playoff expansion. Uh, I also think that might be the ex expiration of Notre Dame's uh, current contract with NBC, their TV contract. Don't quote me on that. I don't know that. And I know that's easy to find out too. I just didn't look it up before I made this video. But the point is, here's, here's the point. It's going to benefit Notre Dame greatly in the, the way that things are changing right now. Rapidly. Not just with the NIL in the transfer portal, and, and the expansion of the playoffs, and the playoff system as a whole, whether it doesn't expand or not, whether it's four teams or it does, it, none of that matters. TV contracts is, is what it comes down to here. And Notre Dame's going to get left behind as a Power Five, even though they're not a Power Five team technically because they're not in a Power Five conference, they're still a Power Five team in most people's minds. They're considered a Power Five team. They're going to get left behind with the expansion of uh, conferences, with what's going on in the SEC, uh, most likely there's going to be more expansions to come or realignments or both in other conferences as well. And Notre Dame is looking down the barrel of a gun right now. And the ACC is looking down the barrel of a gun too. There's mutual interest here. The current TV contract for the ACC is the worst in football. And it runs through 2035 or 2036, something like that. Getting Notre Dame to join the ACC benefits the ACC greatly. 
they then have leverage to renegotiate their current contract, their current TV contract. If you add Notre Dame and nobody else, just, just Notre Dame alone is grounds for a new TV contract, period. Let's say you added another team. Who, whatever team you want to name, doesn't even matter. Let's just say, uh, let's say West Virginia for shits and giggles, okay? Let's say you add West Virginia and Notre Dame. That gives you even more leverage as far as a TV contract is concerned. But anyway, the point is, uh, I have it on good authority. And I listen, I already, I already knew, kind of knew this before I got uh, some sort of confirmation from somebody that knows a lot more about this than I do, that I trust, is that uh, more than likely, and when I say more than likely, I'm going to say there's probably about an 80% chance. And look, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of logistics that go into this. And Notre Dame joining a conference in football full-time is a big deal for obvious reasons. And it's not like it's just going to happen like that. But I'd be willing to bet just about any amount of money that within the next three or four years, most likely by 2025, before the 2026 season, Notre Dame will be a full-time member in the ACC. So you can write it down. Uh, you can tattoo it on your forehead if you have to, but if you do tattoo it on your forehead, make sure you tattoo it backwards so when you look in the mirror, it reads correctly. But Notre Dame will be an ACC team uh, before it's all said and done, and it's in, really not that far away in the grand scheme of things, two or three years uh, in my estimation. And um, again, it's a, it's a mutual uh, benefit. I mean, Notre Dame is, it, it, right now, they're and look, man, they've been on the outside looking in. Since the playoffs started, they've got to go 12-0. and 0. Uh, Notre Dame has made the playoffs uh, several times. Uh, now, they haven't really done much there. Now, the 2020 year is a little bit of a different story. They had one loss, but it was two Clemson in the ACC championship. Um, that, 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 you can pretty much throw 2020 out. It, just, it doesn't really make sense in, in uh, relation to a normal year, um, especially for Notre Dame. But anyway, the Notre Dame's been looking on the outside. They've been on the outside looking in. I mean, they have to basically be perfect. And the way things are changing right now, that, that does not work for Notre Dame's favor going into the future of college football. So they will join a conference. And they will most likely join the ACC. And I believe... that what the ACC has been doing and talking about doing over the past few months and what you'll see them talking about doing over the next several months and couple of years is all in relation to Notre Dame joining the ACC. So save this on your phone and play it back whenever they do so I can tell you how right I was. Ya yeah boy, check it out.